to office and holding positions or promoting positions against libertarian principles that we stand with. Um, also, part of that is threatening behavior or disruptive behavior to the business of the party. Um, when those things become egregious enough, the state committee has the ability to remove a member. Um, and it's not something that's done lightly. And again, it requires two thirds of a state committee to do so. It's concerned, again, that will take place if it is deemed necessary via electronic ballot. Uh, the results will then be shared with the membership. It's important for us as a party to ensure that our membership upholds the standards that we are looking to present and achieve, that our membership um, is, is not uh, purposefully trying to harm the institution. Um, and that is something that is, uh, if, if deemed uh, if deemed inappropriate by enough state committee members uh, can result in an expulsion. Bylaws right. do not include a trial. Um, regarding the uh, topic we were on before, uh, votes to expel someone, uh, you mentioned an electronic ballot. So it, is that not something that would have to happen during a, a meeting? Uh, that is correct. It would it would not be required to happen during a meeting because it is conducted via secret ballot, according to our bylaws. So it says secret ballot, but it also says due process. So I would think there would be a chance for someone to kind of answer to an accusation, which would kind of require a meeting. But that would that seems like a something that could be interpreted differently. Uh, the reasons are for. Uh, promoting anti-libertarian positions, including uh, retweeting and sharing racist sentiments um, and being disruptive and uh, to both meetings and in our Slack workspace, um, putting out hostile and disruptive messaging to our state committee and in our workspaces. David, you had your hand up first, so go ahead, please. Thank you. So I just had a, a couple quick points, I hope. Um, one, I've been um, in various different organizations that go by either Robert's Rules of Orders or the, the Francis Rules that uh, you apparently do. Um, I've never seen uh, any kind of way to expel without a trial. Um, it just, I, you know, it, I don't really have a stake in the game, but I do think that is very, very ripe for a Bruce. And at some point that should be updated because that is, that's, that's not great to just be able to six people vote anyone they want. I don't like the color of your shirt. See you later. That is not amazing. So might want to update that. Uh, second, can I ask what was racist? There were tweets involving use of the N-word. She tweeted that. They were either tweeted or retweeted. I must have missed it. Okay, cool. That's all I got. Thanks. The things we are discussing on the agenda is um, the, and this has nothing to do with you, but I'm just the general issue. It was already on the agenda. Nothing to do with, with your visiting us, but uh, vetting vetting new members um and it's interesting that it uh, that the issue of removal of members and of course that's in our bylaws too uh came up i imagine vetting members making sure they have libertarian values and 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 are nonviolent and all that um is important before the fact and again i'm not talking to, about daniel but i'm just talking about that's one of the things on the agenda that we'll be spending a lot of time on um, vetting saves a lot of issues later. And whereas we have bylaws that demand, rather demand that, that we have a membership that is, um, 
all about liberty and respect for others and, and the dignity of others. Um, it, it just saves a lot of issues, just, just kind of really knowing a lot about people before we just say, our affiliate is open to everybody. Anyone who lives in the general area uh, is welcome to join. And, and that's all. I, I, I'm, I guess I'm not being the hostess with the mostest with Charlie right now, but uh, that's all I wanted to say. Sorry to be long-winded. Okay, thank you for pointing that out. If that is the case, I will go ahead and unmute Scott. All I was, what I was trying to do, actually, when I raised my hand and I was silenced again, and I sent chats to this effect and was, uh, and chats were disabled, and uh, I sent one to you, as you know, uh, was to request specifically to make an appeal from a ruling of the chair, which is part and parcel of Robert's Rules of Order. I think that it's- We don't use Robert's Rules of Order here. Um, we use Francis Democratic Rules of Order. So um, there is no appeal of the chair in this instance. It seems to me that if, if people are going to start deciding which members are in or out without a trial, without due process, then the very least they owe is to be under the same scrutiny. And it seems that, uh, that if, uh, the, if there's any standard under which, under which a uh, person who purports to be a libertarian ought to be judged, it is their relationship with, I'm not necessarily saying one needs to hate the state, but it's their relationship with the state. And the idea that it's unreasonable to ask that question of people who would be judges sole judges without following any due process in a case like this, I think it leaves the, the party very vulnerable. I don't think it's a good idea. And other speakers alluded to this. I think that it's very dangerous territory you're going down if you um, expel in that environment that way. It's my friendly advice. We'll see what you do with it.